Hey, what is going on guys? It is Editor Suits here today, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this little uh, kind of rainy effect um, in your um, in your scene or in your clip. Um, basically, um, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to darken your clip and make it look like it is raining when it actually isn't. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to rain, rain preview my clip, and I'm going uh, uh, to come back when it's done, and I'm going to show you guys what it will look like. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys what it will look like. As you guys can see, it's going to be a little laggy. Uh, because I'm using my screen recording software, and you guys can see right there. I'm gonna replay it so you guys can see it again. Yeah, it's a pretty cool effect if you apply it right. You can make it. You can make it look like your scene um, is dark and gloomy. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make a new comp. Make it uh, 1280 by 720 or however size you want. I, I do recommend 1280 by 720 because that is the standard YouTube or HD. Um, uh, kind of layer or whatever you want to call it uh, for, for YouTube. Um, so you want to go and you want to drag in your clip and uh, make sure your clip is outside and um, I do recommend uh, uh, well actually it is kind of essential that you want to make sure that your clip that you're editing this to is outside because it's gonna be kind of stupid if it um, if your person is inside and it's raining that won't make any sense. Um, you want to go and if you if your person isn't outside make sure you go and uh, drag your work uh, your work area um, to where your person is outside and here you go and you want to go to composition you want to I'm just going to go ahead and trim my comp uh, to my work area and um, the first thing we're going to go ahead and we're going to do is uh, go to and um, we want to add some curves drag curves onto this and I'll go down to the bottom of this and kind of just drag it down um, maybe up a little bit just kind of play with it for, uh, for a little bit uh, make your uh, a clip look a little bit more dark and gloomy than it actually is, and then we're, uh, when you're done with that, you want to go and you want to apply some levels. Go to your um, effects uh, tool thing. You want to drag in levels, and um, you can go and you, you can play with this too. Uh, basically, you're just you're adjusting the darkness and the brightness, um, or the darks and the brights in the scene. Um, you can drag this in. Uh, the right side is, gonna, or the right, tr uh, the right triangle, the little arrow thing is going to be your brights, and the left one is going to be your darks. Um, so you can kind of adjust it to how you want. Um, it's going to look way more darker and look uh, way more nicer when you apply your magic bolt looks um, to your scene. So as you guys can see right now, this is before, and this is after. Um, not too big of a difference, but it'll be uh, so much more uh, noticeable, noticeable when you add your. When, you're, when you add your magic bolt looks. So uh, now we're going to actually apply the actual rain. Um, and what you want to do is you want to uh, go ahead and go to uh, layer, new, and uh, add a new solid. And make sure this is comp size. Now uh, what you want to do is uh, make sure you guys are running CS6. Um, I don't know if this is uh, if uh, CC Protocol World is going to be on uh, uh, After Effects CS4 or 5. Um, uh, so if it's not on there, uh, if you guys are on CS4 or 5 and it's not on there, make sure you guys do kind of upgrade to CS6. Um, so uh, you can go ahead and type in particle and you want to drag on uh, CC particle world. And make sure that you guys uh, do, before you do this, make sure you, you drag it on to the solid layer. Make sure you make a new solid um, on top of your original clip and then you drag in the particle world because if you don't do that, then you're um, in the particle world will just uh, be, be over your uh, your clip and it'll just be like a black scene and you won't be able to see your actual clip. Um, so what we're going to do is go to the middle here. Uh, make sure uh, originally uh, your grid is going to be on. For some reason my grid isn't showing up but make sure you turn grid off. Um, and then you can go ahead and you can go to uh, le for now just leave longe uh, longevity uh, the same and we won't be messing with the producer yet. Um, the first thing you want to do is go to your physics and uh, go uh, change your animation from explosive to twirl. I'm sorry, I didn't really explain what, part of, what CC Particle World is. C CC Particle World is basically a generator um, uh, in After Effects that generates particles um, it, it, or kind of animates particles. And you can kind of change it how you want to. You can edit the gravity in the scene and stuff like that. Um, and it, what's cool about it is it's built into CS6. Um, so make sure you turn it to twirl and change the or change the gravity to one or, change, or put it up to one and you want to change the velocity to zero so the um, so the particles go straight down instead of to uh, left and right um, and now you can go and you go, go back to producer and you can go to radius x y and z and you can stretch these out so it kind of fills your comp area 
as you, got, you guys can see, I'm stretching it out, and it's making the particles stretch out. Um, and what's cool about the uh, radi uh, what's, what's cool about CC Particle World is that it's um, already a built-in 3D um, animator, so you can actually change the radius of the Z. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but when I do this, it actually makes the particles go farther away from me, so it looks like it's more 3D. And now we're going to make this look more realistic by going to Particles, or go to Particle, and make sure that your particle type is left online. Don't you don't have to change that? And um, go down to your birth color, change this to kind of like a like a lighter gray. And maybe change your um, your death uh, whatever whatever it's called the the death color um, kind of to make it a little more lighter gray. You can you can keep both of them the same color of, of gray, um, but it doesn't really matter. So you guys can see right here. Um, you can't really maybe not tell yet, but this is the um, what the rain will look like and this is pretty much it for the rain um it's not you can't really tell too much yet it kind of it doesn't exactly look too great right now but uh if you add your magic bolt looks um or once you do it'll look so much more nicer so i'm actually gonna do that now uh if you guys don't have magic bolt looks you can go and there will be a link down in the description below to um i'm showing you guys how to get it and um basically how to work and everything like that and um, so what you're going to do to apply magic bolt looks um, is what I usually do because I want to actually apply the magic bolt looks to the rain and the, and the composition. So what I want to do is go and I want to make a new, um, go to layer, new, and you want to make an adjustment layer. And I'm just going to be a little organized here. I'm just going to call this C ski for my, because it's going to be my color correction. And um, I'm going to go to my effects and presets and I'm going to type in looks for magic bolt looks. I'm going to drag it onto my CC layer. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on edit. And uh, you guys can choose, you guys will not uh, have this color pack yet, but um, I actually got this color pack from, I think it was Editor School. Um, you guys can go download this. And if you guys want to want me to release some Magic Bolt Looks color, cor uh, color correction packs in the future, make sure you guys do comment down below and I will do that for sure. But the one I am using, which works perfect with the scene, is called Tense 2 under the CC pack by Tense. And as you guys can see, it makes the scene so much more darker and more um, pop out towards your eyes, and it makes the um, the, the brights kind of um, uh, or the diffusion in the scene makes it make the brights kind of pop out, and make it look more shinier. And I'm going to press on finish to uh, finish this uh, comp right here. And as you guys can see, this looks amazing. Uh, this looks ama basically how how it looked before. Um, and again, this uh, the the magic bullet looks may vary in how it looks um, for your scene, depending on how bright your scene is. Um, if you're on a very very bright map or a very bright, or if your scene is just very very bright, um, this effect might not look uh, may not look very too well. Um, if that makes any sense. Um, and uh, what's what I actually do recommend is that you guys use this effect on a. Um, um, what do you call or on a cinematic because it looks so much better um when the when the uh, the scene is more slow when the camera is moving slowly. Um, what's bad about this is that the um the scene actually um the scene actually has a 360 uh, uh or a really quick 360 in it, which isn't great because it, it makes the rain look more unrealistic when the when the screen's moving so fast. But what you can do um what I did actually is I'm sure you guys have to manipulate that and um you can make it look like a uh, look a little bit more realistic when you're doing a 360. So what you're going to want to do is, uh, if you guys don't, uh, or by the way, if you guys don't want to know how to make it look, look like if your scene isn't going to be too complicated um, in ways of movements, you can just leave now and uh, this, this, this will be the end of the, tor the tutorial for you. Um, but if, you're, if your scene is like mine where there's a lot of movement or if there's a lot of, uh, or if there's a 360 uh, scope in it, um, then you, you can go and stay and make uh or to try to find out what this will look like. Um, so what I did is right here, this is kind of where the 360 is going to begin. And what I'm going to do is go, um, excuse me for a second while I go and try to find exactly where the, where the actual start of the 360 is. I think it's around six seconds. Six seconds. Okay, so it's about here. And what I'm going to do is uh, right about here, what you're going to do is go ahead and make a new adjustment layer. And you're going to want to call this, uh, you, you don't have to name this, but I, I, I'm really organized. So I'm going to call this um, my uh, my blur. And what I'm going to do is gonna, I want to make sure this is under the CC um, because I don't want to affect the CC um, at this moment. So uh, what you want to do is go ahead and uh, right about here, 
where he starts uh, doing a 360 or whatever there's a movement for you guys. Um, you want to go in, you want to go to directional blur or go into uh, pre, uh, effects and presets, go to directional blur. Uh, directional blur. There, I, I can't really spell. <laughs> and you want to apply it to your blur layer. And you want to go ahead and press the stopwatch button to make a keyframe. And uh, you want to find out where the, the movement stops. Uh, so you guys can see, I think about right about here is when it stops. So you want to go somewhere towards the, uh, the middle of where it stops. You've got right here. And you want to drag your blur length up. So I think I drew, uh, put it up to about 5 or 6. And you guys can see right here um, that the scene looks a little bit more blurry. Um, and then uh, you want to go in and drag to where it ends, where it stops moving. And then you want to drag it back to zero. And um, basically all, what that does is it kind of makes it, gives it a little blur effect while you're, um, while you're spinning around, or while the person's spinning around, or while there's a, uh, um, a, like lots of movement going on, uh, going on in the scene. Um, and it makes it look more realistic. Uh, so I'm going to go and I'm going to ram preview this, and uh, I'll be back in a second uh, when, so, you, so I can show you guys what this looks like. All right, guys, I am back now, and I'm going to uh, go ahead. I'm going to ram, or I'm going to press play. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to actually ram preview. I'm just, I'm just going to press play or pause right here, and so you guys can see in slow motion. You guys can see right here, it starts to blur. It's a very, very subtle effect, uh, uh, but it's, it makes it look so much more realistic when you have a uh, when you have a little rain effect going on. And then what you can do also, if you want to get more advanced, um, is I'm not actually going to show you, but you can actually go to your uh, to your rain layer. And uh, when it starts to move, you can add some velocity. Um, so you can go to uh, physics, and let's say like whenever it started, it started to twirl around, or when there's a lot of movement, you can actually uh, go ahead and you can uh, keyframe the the velocity and turn it up and make it so it so maybe it goes to the left or it goes to the right or something like that. So it looks more realistic. All right, you guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, make sure you guys leave it a like and a comment or subscribe if you haven't already. Um, to my channel because I'm going to be releasing more and more of these um, uh, or, like really awesome effects and after effects um, and I'm going to be also releasing some uh, presets and uh, and other stuff like that for after effects to make your edits look um, a lot more great uh, or just look greater um, so yeah uh, again thank you guys for watching and don't forget to rate comment and subscribe peace